You are listening to Standards in 10 Minutes from The Standard Show, the podcast that brings you the stories behind the standards with Matthew Childs and Cindy Parakil. Hello, my name is Matthew Childs. And I'm Cindy Parakil. And this Standard in 10 Minutes is PAS 440, Responsible Innovation. Here are 10 things you need to know. Number one, what the standard is all about. PAS 440 is the standard that provides guidance to organisations on how to structure innovative thinking and processes responsibly, irrespective of their industry or sector. Responsible innovation is the careful consideration of, and actions to address, the potential impacts of introducing a new product, or a new service, or a process, or even a new business model. These impacts come beyond the innovating organisations themselves, their customers and suppliers, and their financiers and investors. And of course, these impacts can also be on wider society and the environment. Number two, why the standard has been developed. Society has never been hungrier for innovation and new ways of doing things. But it is also true to say that society has never been less tolerant of innovation when it fails. Organizations mostly want to do the right thing in terms of developing and selling their products and services. But what is the right thing? How do organizations go about identifying and mitigating potential harms, the unintended consequences, or the misuse of their innovations? There was no overarching framework or guidance for organizations on how to do this until now. So, PASS 440 was created to help organizations to innovate more responsibly, allowing them to move forward with their idea quickly in the right way. Number three, what is a PASS? A PASS is a fast-track standardization document, the result of an expert consulting service from BSI. It defines good practice for a product, service or process. It's a powerful way to establish the integrity of an innovation or approach. A PAS is best suited to areas where new concepts are becoming widely accepted and minimal changes are expected. Sponsored by industry leaders, government, trade associations and professional bodies, a PAS is developed by a steering group or advisory group of stakeholders, selected from relevant fields and led by BSI. It's also an important route to international standards. Around 30% of PASs developed by BSI have gone on to become international standards, such as ISO standards. Number four, who the standard is for. PAS 440 is for organizations taking new products, services, or processes to market, and particularly for the leadership and management, risk committees, and R&D departments in those organizations. But the standard is for other people and groups too. PAS 440 will also interest an organization's wider stakeholders, including scientists and innovators, suppliers, financiers and investors, and also regulators and policymakers. Other groups will also have an interest in PAS 440, such as members of the public, customers, and current and prospective employees. Perhaps most importantly, all industries and sectors are in scope for PAS 440. Number five, how organizations use the standard. Because the standard provides guidance for organizations to innovate responsibly and to demonstrate their responsible behavior, it helps them to structure their thinking and guide their actions. Organizations are asked to consider not only the benefits of their innovations, but also any possible adverse impacts, including through unintended use, misuse or other unforeseen consequences, and to plan accordingly. The standard also helps organisations to think through the wider implications of their innovation, capture the outcomes of their reflection and communicate this to stakeholders and wider society. Number six, providing reassurance for stakeholders. PASS 440 is particularly relevant in the area of early stage and disruptive technologies, helping to identify and mitigate risks before they become an issue. This means the standard helps organizations to reassure investors, customers, and other stakeholders that the benefits of any innovation can be achieved with appropriate mitigation of any potential downside risk wherever that might occur. Number seven, 
benefits of using the standard. The standard recognizes that technology is neither good nor bad. It is what people do with it that matters. Working to the PAS 440 guidance helps organizations to achieve the benefits of their innovation, identify and avoid or mitigate any potential harms or unintended misuse, and provides a standardized approach to identification of benefits and possible harms, to weighing them, to recording them, to iterating them, and to communicating them. Using this approach brings a number of potential benefits, including more resilient new products and services, cost and risk reductions, improved sustainability, improved trust in the organization, greater and improved reputation and brand value, better relationships with governments, regulators, and local communities. And it could also result in the organization as being seen as a better employer. Number eight, how it can work alongside other guidance. Another standard, ISO 26000, clarifies what social responsibility is and helps organizations translate CSR principles into practical actions at an organizational level. PASS 440 provides a structure to help organizations to think through the wider implications of their specific innovation, capture the outcomes of their reflection, and communicate this to stakeholders and wider society. Combining the organization level and innovation specific level results in an integrated approach to achieving responsible innovation. Number 9. Why 440? Well, it's quite a nice story. When someone plays a musical instrument out of tune, it sounds pretty unpleasant. The more people playing and the further separated their tuning is, the worse it gets. A large modern orchestra can consist of over a hundred musicians. With that many people playing out of tune, the noise created can sound truly awful. This is why orchestras tune to the note A above middle C played on the oboe. The frequency of the note the oboe plays, concert pitch, is 440 hertz. Only when everyone's playing is rooted to the same tuning note does it sound good. Just as the different sections and instruments in any orchestra only play beautifully together when they are tuned to the same note, so too is innovation more successful when the different stakeholders in a value chain act in an agreed and coherent way. So that's why it's PAS 440. Number 10. The people involved in developing the standard. PAS 440 is sponsored by Innovate UK, the UK's national innovation agency. Following a period of research to establish market demand for the standard, its development was facilitated by BSI through a steering group, comprising a number of academic and research institutions, design organizations, development agencies, and other stakeholders. These included the Universities of Edinburgh, Cardiff, Goldsmith, Manchester and Arizona State, the Institution of Engineering Designers, the agrichemical company Syngenta, and the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, the OECD. So, there you have it. A standard in 10 minutes. PAS 440. Responsible innovation. You have been listening to Standards in 10 Minutes from The Standard Show. Subscribe to us now wherever you get your podcasts. You just heard a stripped media production. 